For some, it is a trip down memory lane. For others, a whole new experience. Tonight, hundreds, including our own Chase Moffat, showed up to see a drive-in movie, the first operational outdoor theater our area has seen in years. Was it packed out That's there, That's right, Chase? Mallory. We're live here at Sokol Park. i got to be a little quiet tonight. The movie is in full effect. The drive-in experience behind me. Take a look. All the cars are lined up there. The 37-foot screen. We're in the back and we can hear it from the sound system up front for those who chose to sit close. But when you're in the car in the back, hey, hey. I'd say that sounds pretty hey. good. Hey, wait up, partner. Hold on. It's all part of the drive-in fun and the experience. Drive-in pass. Drive-in pass. Gates open at Sokol Park. The cars started filtering in anticipation of the drive-in movie experience. I always went to drive-ins when I was a kid, and so when the opportunity came up, I wanted to take my kids. There are two options to take in the fun, park in the front of the screen and set up for the night, or walk and sit. That's where we find Monica Chambers playing ball with her niece. Having her see something that, you know, I brought up when we was in Council Bluffs, you know, I remember going as a kid, and, um... I loved it. One of the owners says that's exactly why they decided to bring back a drive-in movie theater. I hope they get to relive a little bit of their past. Most people are super excited to bring their kids to experience something that they you know, experienced growing up. Because yeah. uh, the last drive-in in this area closed 10 years ago. And as everyone settles in, the car's finishing lining up. It's just about showtime. You think you'll come back maybe? I hope so. Cool. I hope so. Love it, love it. With senior photographer Nick Bohan, I'm Chase Moffitt, WWT 6 News. Tonight's show was sold out, but if you would like to purchase tickets to a future show, we have added that info to this story at WOWT.com.